The new Complete Wedding CD now incorporates both the original Wedding CD and the Home and Abroad to give you even special extra value for money and also to make the making of your wedding stationery that much easier as well because you've got so much choice now. This really is a jam-packed CD-ROM. So what I'd like to do is just run you through some of the key features that you're going to find on it and to see some of the extra elements that we've added. Now the main menu comes up here and we've got the wedding invitations, the backing papers, stationery, inserts, we've got the section wedding abroad, envelopes and boxes and then the images that are used here as well. We've also got the Damask wedding invitations and a tutorial. You'll need Adobe Reader 9 or above to watch the video. So let's just run through and start off by looking with the backing paper. So we click on and you can see now that we've got a range of backing papers here. And again, it's just a case of selecting the one that you like. And you can use this within your own card making for the envelopes or if you want to import it into a graphics package and create your own wedding stationery. So we have a, a range of the most sort of popular papers here, as you can see. Now, if we come back to the wedding invitations, we get these and additional papers. And to make life again easier for you, you've got a really fantastic choice. And it comes from A5, Portrait, Landscape, a DL cards, which are very popular, A6, a quarter A4, which again, are very, very popular, and we've got our 130 millimeter squared, which is really an A5 square, and you can have that in landscape or portrait. And there's also some engagement cards as well. So let's, for, for argument's sake, let's just click on to A5 portrait here. Now, you've got such a vast selection, they come in uh, three sections and then the blank cards as well. So I'll, I'll just click on to section two here with the roses. Now, each one comes with seven variations of pictures that match with it. So let's say, you like this one here up it comes and you've now got the words wedding invitation there now the text is text editable if you need to change it you'll have to highlight it and press Control e on your keyboard and then you can uh, put in other wording if you want to but basically this is designed to sort of work with the image here and what we've got there now you can print this out on lovely paper and you've got your card or you can go to the images section and actually raise this up if you want to make the card a little bit special by putting a topper on it. You will notice that this is slightly smaller than an A5. This is allow you for those without edge to edge printers to print it and have everything line up properly as well. And again, you can just go through and pick out at random any of the selection of really, I think, quite stunning and beautiful cards here. So there really should be something for something for everyone within these selections. And the beauty, again, as I've said, is they come in a range of sizes. If we have a look at the quarter A4, I'll just go back in and well, let's take this one here. And we can see now that we get it in this format. Again, if you want to change the type, you can just highlight it. Control E, a dialog box will come up and you can type in your own messages if you want to in there. So that's the basic section and that really is the, the powerhouse of it all. Um, we've got quarter A4 portraits here as I've said but all the other sizes as well. Just very quickly while we're here we've also got some engagement cards as well. So you can go on there and uh, create an engagement card if you wish to. Now just going back to our main menu, simply click return. So that's, as I said, really the powerhouse of it all. We've got the wedding invitations there, but we've also got the stationery here. If we click onto that, we've now got save the date, RSVP, order of service, place names, menu, and a thank you note. So if we say go to order of service, you can see here, it's very simple. Again, text editable, type in the details that you need to in here. That's the outside section, and then we have the inside section as well. Now, one of the things you can do with this, a design tip, is to, if I just go back to it, is to put your information in, print it out, and when you've done that for the inside and the outside, you can feed it back into the machine to make it double-sided. To make it look a little bit more special, come back to your backing papers, choose a nice backing paper for it, and then you can overprint that 
through the machine so something nice and light and that will give the inside or the outside or both parts of it a really nice wedding -y feel and look as well so it's a case of just running it back through the printer a couple of times so you can use the backing papers here uh, to great effect for that now you have your inserts and again these match all of the cards that we've got there if we go to a5 you'll see it's a little bit smaller to match it and here all the wording for the wedding is, is pre-written for you what you need to do is obviously put in the information the bride and groom etc but if you do need to change it remember click on it'll turn to a beam this is text editable and then you'll be able to type in the text that you need to on there um, if we just come back to the inserts if you click on to here we've got different font styles if you copy and paste something from one of these you can bring that typeface uh, into your document also this is now because it's on here will become available to you to choose you'll have all of these lovely wedding scripts as well we also have informal wedding invitations as you can see here you can just click on drag copy and paste and these are for, for really are for more informal wedding invitation so you've got that on there as well both in portrait and landscape we've got the weddings abroad three most popular places are vegas a tropical wedding and the mediterranean again these come in really a5 and a6 these are the two main sizes that you can use with this card you have the inserts as we can see here again both in a5 and a6 and you have the backing papers as well so you've got a sort of complete uh, overseas wedding stationery kit there your boxes and envelopes you can make simply click on again run this through the machine print this one out first these other elements won't print and then you can glue the second part to go to part two print that out over print a nice paper on it from the backing paper selection and you'll be running and away with that incidentally the tutorial tells you how to do that so while we're here I'm going to go to the tutorial if you click on to the little movie icon here that will run through and tell you all about it and there's another little sort of tutorial guide here but that's the main one showing you how to make your stationery and last but not least we have the images here on this particular section so you can use these to uh, decoupage as toppers on top of the cards if you want to or you can cut and paste these and information on how to do that's on the website as well as the help menu you can cut and paste anything out with a snapshot tool and use it within the graphics package and all the elements here if you really want to customize your wedding stationery that little bit further although most of the things that you can do here can be done using just the software here on adobe now we also have something called Damask Invitations and this is quite an exciting range and again th these are a little bit different we just click on and they come in a range of different sizes so you would print this out and, and have the information on it here and then click to return so we have a range of different colours these are for sort of um, perhaps a, a slightly different approach to uh, making your wedding stationery so they're they're not quite so formal again just clicking through you can see um, they're very beautiful actually and uh, I think make a rather nice alternative in essence what you're doing is producing a full A5 card which is why there will be some waste around the paper here but you're saving so much money away making your stationery please don't ever resent the fact that you've got this extra space that makes you have the full wedding card in that particular instance we've also got these as backing papers if you need them as well so you've got a full backing paper in a range of colors which are designed you can see they're in exactly the right position to print onto the back of the card if you want to run it through the machine twice and again a, a really nice range of different backing t papers you could use here which could be used on the envelopes indeed anything that you find on the video Oh, sorry on the CD um, and it's really a case to just go through and explore there is so so much on here and we can see different different ones there and there we go that's with the complete range a quick overview of what you'll find on the CD-ROM